Hey, welcome back to Tiny House and Off Grid Resources. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can make your own Faraday cage to protect against electromagnetic pulses, EMPs, or even surveillance from Five Eyes and the NSA. Now you can buy a Faraday cage in various sizes. They come from small bags big enough to hold a smartphone or large containers that will house an entire computer system. If you'd rather not spend the money, then this video is for you. You'll find various things at home that you might have on hand that can be converted into a Faraday cage at no cost whatsoever. But before you put your phone in one, put it in aeroplane mode, otherwise the battery will drain as it searches hard for a signal and can't find one. If you're looking at making a Faraday cage to take to a protest to protect against surveillance of your phone, you can make a very small one quite easily out of a potato chip packet. Potato crisps in Europe and America. They're made out of an aluminized foil plastic and that will provide an absolute protection against radio waves and scanning. All you have to do is take the packet, clean it out, remove any of the grease residues, pop your phone inside and fold over all of the remaining bag down into a sausage and pop the thing into your pocket and it will be completely impregnable to any kind of surveillance. The tinfoil hat joke comes from somewhere and that somewhere is the Faraday cage. Aluminium foil will protect against scanning electromagnetic fields and all forms of surveillance. Shoplifters use it to their advantage by coating the inside of bags to prevent detection. For larger jobs, a metal filing cabinet takes just a few tweaks to be turned into a Faraday cage. Lay a corrugated cardboard around the inside or alternatively, Put all of your devices into plastic bags or individual cardboard boxes. But for larger things, the solution could be sitting out in your backyard. Metal garbage cans with a little bit of modification can be very effective Faraday cages. Just so long as you have one with a tight fitting lid, all you need to do is insulate the inside of it with um, for example a sleeve of cardboard so that nothing can touch the metal of the outside and then place your items inside uh, you could even do it by placing them inside cardboard boxes or plastic bags anything that will just insulate them from the metal of the container itself a cocktail shaker, one of those metal um, glass looking things with a tight fitting metal lid that can be used to put several cell phones in and keep them safe. But whatever Faraday cage you choose, test it. Rigorous testing involves software defined radio receiver, but you can do a simple test by turning a radio to a station that comes in strong locally and place that inside the Faraday cage. Close the cage and if you can still hear the station, the cage is not working. I hope this video has been an inspiration to you to take a look at your devices and look at the precious memories and the important files that you've got stored around the house. You can protect them and put them into long term storage quite simply by wrapping them up inside any kind of potato chip or crisp packet or any other aluminized foil plastic container or putting them in any sealed metal container so long as they can't touch the metal container itself for long-term storage. Like all the videos on my channel it's brought to you to help you save money and find ways of doing things yourself. So I hope that this video has helped you and all other off-gridders, homesteaders and preppers find their own solutions to problems that would otherwise be quite an expensive venture.